How accessible is Kerr Hall and Ryerson University? Let's find out. There are many challenges the physically disabled would encounter being in Kerr Hall. For starters, there is a lack of automatic doors making it difficult to enter the building. Also, there are multiple entrances to Kerr Hall, but minimal accessible ones, making it very inconvenient for the physically disabled to enter. The accessible ones are located very close to each other, making it hard for students to get to and from classes on the other side of Kerr Hall. There are many opportunities to provide ramps for the physically disabled to enter the building, rather than limiting them to the only two. With Kerr Hall's spacious attributes, adding ramps would be an ideal action, making classrooms and facilities easier to access. As well, the elevators are located at three of the four corners in Kerr Hall, which is good because it is easy access to all of the rooms. The only problem is that they are placed in the three corners of the building without any entrances that are accessible to the physically disabled. Here are some challenges that the visually impaired would have to face in Kerr Hall. There is no braille on the signs to indicate where they are in the building. This includes labs, classrooms, offices, etc. The washrooms are impossible to find as there is no way of telling you where they are located. And in Kerr Hall, the railings are designed in a very poor manner, either leading you into walls or unwanted destinations. And as bad as it is not knowing where the washrooms are, the fully accessible ones appear less frequently as the non-fully accessible ones, making it even more of a challenge to find. Here are some solutions to make Kerr Hall more accessible. This proposal of tactile paving embedded in the floor of Kerr Hall addresses the issue of accessibility for the blind. Different textures could be used to inform people of the cardinal directions within the building. There could also be an arrow pattern within the texture to indicate the direction that the room numbers are increasing. This potential solution could also assist the general population of students in navigating the building as well. These panels serve as a guide to help blind people navigate throughout Kerr Hall. They make it easy to orient yourself within the building and determine where you need to go next. They also provide paths leading to the nearest doors, staircases, or elevators that may be difficult to find otherwise. So a potential solution for the visually impaired would be to incorporate braille on every sign in Kerr Hall to properly indicate where they are. And a potential solution for the physically disabled would be adding more ramps to make entering the building more convenient.